That would be your easiest question. You, you not only stumped me, but you stumped just about everybody you talk to when you're out and about here in Danville. Well, I try, I try, uh, but a lot of folks, uh, well, let's just put it this way. They, they know their town pretty well. Uh, we were up here in the uh, Danville Hills, and we did a, a deep dive into uh, the city of Danville to find out, you know, what's going on here. And we found out there are a lot of heavy hitters that actually either grew up here or did a little work here in Danville, including the man that built this home behind me. This was built in the late 30s and 40s by a gentleman that may have been the best playwright in U.S. history. We're going to tell you who that is, but we're going to start with a bit of a geography lesson as we take to the streets here in Danville to find out what do people really know about their town. Can you name the three cities or three towns that border Danville? San Ramon, Alamo. Good. And, and one second. San Ramon. Yes. Alamo. Yes. Dublin. No. No. Want to keep trying? Keep trying. There's Alamo. only so many. San Ramon. Yeah, third town in Porter Scanville. Those are the two easy ones, right? Yeah. San Ramon. Right, yes. Dublin. What was that? Dublin? No. No? No. San Ramon no. kind of got no. in the way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Don't you you're live right. in San Ramon? I do, I do, yeah. <laughs> Just Pardon check me, I've only had one cup of coffee. So. <laughs> it's not pleasant, is it? No. That's even further. I'm thinking the other side of Mount Diablo. It's proof. Whoa, what did you say? The other side of Mount Diablo. What's the name of the mountain? Mount Diablo. Oh. There's a town named Mount Diablo? Little city. It's named after a big mountain here. Oh, di hmm? yeah. Diablo. Well, Diablo's not a town. It is. It is. It is. There's a, a town Diablo. called Diablo. There is a town called Diablo. I did not know that. He had a story career in football here at Monta Vista High School, and now is embarking on an NFL career. Can you name the quarterback? And for extra credit, who is his mother? Kaepernick was it? Yeah. Colin Kaepernick? Is that who you're talking about? No. Oh, I don't no. know. He's That's, from Turlock. Oh, Turlock. Excuse I me. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know this kid that you're talking about. You don't. No, sorry. His mother works at Channel Two. I, that doesn't help. Uh, Julie. Uh, Julie. Yeah. Julie. Pretty gal. Very. Yeah. And her last name? <laughs> Starts with an H. Yes, Julie Hayner. Hayner. Yeah. And her son's name is. Boy Hainer. Boy Hainer, yes! <laughs> Julie Hainer's the mom. That is correct! The son. I, Brett Hainer, the, Fresno State, right? Yeah, well, you got the last yeah. name, right? And the college, but what's his first name? Uh, he beat UCLA. Yes! In a, in a, in a dramatic game a couple a years ago. Jalen Cropper! And Jake Hainer is the natural! Another Jake the Snake, huh? Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, he won a Pulitzer Prize and a Nobel Prize for his literary work and lived here in Danville for a number of years. Can you name the playwright? Steinbeck? No, but that era. He was oh. a playwright. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, shoot. First thing that comes to mind is Shakespeare, but that's not right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, old Bill was uh, around a long time ago. Yeah. So. Oh, yes. He's got a, um, when you go hike up by the Ball Estate, he has... Uh, a house. A house. Yes. Who lived in that house? I know. That's yes. a good question. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you read this. We'll go back to that. Come to the next one. Oh, really? You're yeah. going to pass? <laughs> I love It'll that. pop in in a minute. No, I don't know. I really don't know. You don't Danville, know? Danville, really? Yeah, yeah. That's the house that's over. Ding, ding, ding. Here, I'm blanking on the name right now. Um, the Iceman Cometh. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm, I can even picture him, but you I can't. You read it, I, I know. Can't, I, can't, I can't think of it right now. What's his name? Eugene O'Neill. Okay, how'd you know that? Hey, I do read. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Yes, the man that wrote Iceman Cometh and Long Day's Journey in Tonight wrote many of those plays. In fact, those two right here in this Danville home, and you're looking at his study, the window of his study right now, and both those plays were written right here in Danville. We'll have much more coming up on the Eugene O'Neill house and the barn that is, I can see it from here, a very special place, and there's some kids in there right now. We'll tell you what they're doing as well. By the way,